I swear it's nothing to be worried about. Like, I, I promise you, I, I speak on behalf of all of us. When I say we just chopping it up, I promise you, we just chopping it up like... <laughs> Round table discussion, <laughs> it's all or nothing Building over thoughts you wouldn't walk through the public Connected like the plug is The outlet is the line from top to bottom It's whatever's designed and it's Gucci behind these doors up here Get it all in the clear, we'll check something but it's all sincere So book them Danny, <laughs> line them up like they in a faded throne Cause nobody ever became great alone Welcome to Chop It Up here at Faded With your ghost, host Gucci I got my co-host. Sincere. My first lady. Danny. We got a special guest for y'all, DJ Nye. Yes, yes. Before we get into our subject, I just want our man here to introduce himself and tell us a lot about him and what got him in the culture and what brings him here today. Oh, uh, well, you already know, man. It's your guy, DJ FNI from Philly, South Philly. You know what I'm saying? DJ, artist, actor, I do it all, man. It's entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, met the folks. You know what I mean, we came through. It's, it's a network thing. That's what I'm here for. It's for the network. You know? Word, yeah. We can appreciate that. Our topic today is going to be why we don't support each other in the culture. Damn. More so, I'm going to say, why we support each other just being great and black. Like, Because reality is a lot of support we look for come from home and who else but support you but your homeboys, right? Thanks. So, I mean, you know, who who, who want to kick this conversation off? Since you, you got a lot of thought that you just you, you put together. You just, yeah. yeah, I'm always in, in the train of thought. Um, because for me personally, I always hear you got black companies, got people that's doing their own thing. Like for you instance, the Garden State Gold, love it. I like the jacket, had to get me myself one. And But you don't get a lot of that where people will spend a couple hundred dollars on the same quality yeah. of a jacket instead of supporting someone that's convenient to you and affordable, and you can also support that person on a whole nother level. And it, it, for me, what I see is normal is greed. They got something to say about, uh, oh, well, it's not this, that, and the third, but you won't say the same thing about another type of uh, uh, a brand. Another brand, yeah. yeah. Another brand, like, and you'll spend that money without no, oh, man, this, that, and third, but you wear it, like, you know, two, three times, then it's done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of supporting somebody that's that took their time to stitch clothing and, and so quality, yeah, for the quality because they got the hunger. I can say also too that on the same note, sometimes when you do start supporting that, my 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 folks, my culture, they start to slack a little bit once they get a little bit too big headed. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. But I, I, I think, see that too. Mm -hmm. I see that not just in our culture. But I, um, the first thing that comes to mind when we came up with this topic was like, um, like Indian people. They come over here and they bring like their generations with them mm -hmm. and they all live in one house all together mm -hmm. and they work together as a unit and they go and buy themselves a business. And then they build on that business while all the, you know, the entire household is helping out with the business which brings money into the household. And um, I, I, it makes me wonder why it's only certain cultures that do it that route. I don't think it's just certain. I think it's really more so an upbringing because I ain't gonna lie, as Americans, we are selfish. We're selfish. We, we're, we're born into greed and stuff like that. We want what we mostly can't have because this is what's shown to us. Like, you want to be rich, you want to be famous. And no one thinks to do it in a team effort. They all think right. to do it like, oh, I'm gonna do this on my own. Even in the hood, like, you when you. Your whole squad of people could rap, <laughs> but y'all won't get together and do a group. I mean, Wu Tang has been a thing that's been forever, and nine people on one record deal. I don't know how that worked out, but they all seem to have made greatness out of what they did. But you don't see that too often, and there's so many of us that got talent that can come together and make a big project and eat off of it. But everybody wants a bigger piece of a pie, or they want more. And rather than, I guess, creating something that we can build off of, because I think everything starts with a decent foundation. Rather than us creating our own foundation, we'll, 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 we'll backpack on our own and do what we can and not just do what we can, we want to do it alone because we don't want to have to owe nobody and have to, and after a while you're going to realize that everything you do when you're coming up is going to be, you're going to need support, you're going to need people that are like-minded like you to stay behind you to at least get you to your good foundation. Yes. And from there, you can skyrocket in whatever direction you go to, but as long as you've got this foundation you can come back to and people will always fail to realize that that foundation is what you need to start with. So, I, I just think that 
like it got to start somewhere because like when when the support like when you first like start something like people like coming into the shit people didn't support so naturally like once you know what i'm saying when somebody else get there it's like well ain't nobody helped me so like i'm not putting mm-hmm. nobody on like you yeah. gotta take somebody to start like you know what i'm saying yeah, putting people back. on like you know what yeah. i'm saying so it could be the norm because it's not the norm. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? It's like you said, like, you know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, yeah, I'm a rapper, this and that, this and that. Well, my cousin rap, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, <laughs> exactly. I'm not about to buy your clothing line when my cousin got a clothing line. <laughs> like, your clo- you know what I'm saying? And at That's the same true. time, we saying that same stuff and still don't support the cousin. cousin. <laughs> at all. You see all that talking about Hey, yo, you, man, I ain't saying nothing, though. My right. people do the same thing. Exactly. Or what's Ooh. annoying is when you're doing something and you're trying to get your family to back you up and you want everything for free. Oh, okay. yeah. can I get that? Yeah, like, like, y'all yes. supposed to be supporting me. But That's I think, that golden rule. I think a big part of it, though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to stop, like, caring about the immediate support because, like, you, you know, because at the end of the night, like, once you get to where you got to go, like, them saying the support going to be there. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, come on, cuz. Yeah, that's my yeah. cousin. Now it's my cousin clothing line hot. I'm wearing it now. Everybody wearing it already. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing it now. You know what I'm saying? It's my cousin. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't really care about that. You just got to go where you got to go. Exactly. And then, I you know find you get more support from strangers. Strangers. Than people that, you know, know you. Like, people that know you, they're happy for you, but that's about as far as it really goes. And that happiness is real limited. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, they're not... They're not with you on the peaks and troughs of, you know, the ups and downs of everything. That's but, what um, it takes for you to go ahead and set your foundation because your folks, whether, not everybody got the perfect family, but when you do start to build up your success, you definitely will see that those same family members that made it like, because mm, mm. they want to see where you go with it. Right. Because yeah. you, you got some people in the culture and the family, but the one person like, all right, oh, you doing this this week? All right, next week you do something completely different. And then two months ago, you wanted to be a doctor. You know what I mean? So yeah. they don't have no focus. So now they got to see you put forth the effort. I can say for certain people in my own family, when they got this drive to go do something, then they, people start backing it up because yeah. now it's a consistent thing. Right. You yeah. give consistency. Like for our culture, when you show consistency, oh, yeah, we they will definitely go ahead and rock. Or, and you ain't ten toes down, we rocking with you. Absolutely. Even, yeah. even if you ain't, you know what I mean, like the whole – current thing that's going on now with with Diddy. Like everybody was back in him, you know, Diddy bad boy this and that third. Now <laughs> you know, so now everything went now receipts coming out. People like, oh no. <laughs> I, yeah. I knew something was wrong, boy, from the rip. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I mean you just gotta watch how you walk and build up your own foundation. And to piggyback on what you said, Gucci, uh, we gotta learn instead of saying all oh, they better than us or they ain't nothing, these other nationalities that come over here to America Already got the plan written down before they even come over before here. Before they come in, yes, yeah, exactly. Already, everybody from other foreigners come, bring their whole squad, already know that they about to hit the struggle, and all work together. And when they get what they want, they go right back to where they came from. And send that money right back Right home, back, like, you know what I mean? They do, and it takes time to get What a lot of people don't understand is when them, it takes time for them to get their papers and all mm-hmm. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, and while they're here getting it, they're they getting it. Like, right, they, in the midst of while they're doing it, like like you said, they do plot and plan and stick to the plan, consistency. Yeah, and, and, and what I love is the fact that they ain't letting you win. At all. <laughs> they, they, oh, this us? Yeah, this is us. Don't let no outsiders come on in here and try to mess Ooh, up what we got, got going on. Yeah. Yeah. If they not married or, or right. have some type of bond that they going to stay committed to us, oh, yeah, no, you ain't getting none of that. Oh, you can see what we got, but you ain't touching it. You know what I mean? And I think as a culture, we really, truly got to stick to us instead of just sitting over here and backbiting and backstabbing. It's a beautiful thing for y'all to go to an event and – and click. He's like, oh yeah, you know, not knowing each other from a can of paint, yeah. but like, oh, let me let me rock with that. I'm feeling that vibe. I'm feeling that good energy. Because you, you can see the the vision was likewise. Like we just trying to do the same thing. Like, yeah, y'all got your whole Thanks. color scheme going on. There. That was hitting my ass. Ain't nobody yeah, telling me. I, I don't even know. You, know what you, what mean, you blended in with the color, the color scheme too. I, I was He's trying to. I, I, you know, like, I, you know, I get a little hip with the hop on that a little bit. You know, I try to blend my colors in. So. <laughs> 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 What do you think we can do with the people to, you know, I mean, it's one thing to support, but what do we need to support each other? You said you need to see consistency. And leadership. Now, and leadership, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, what else do you think we're missing in trying to find support from each other? 
Yeah, like the leadership, like examples, like people that's really setting the example, like, all right, well, this, you know what I'm saying, this how you do it, this is what I'm, you know what I mean? You saw what Wallow did, that whole building that's what was I'm absolutely saying. free, dog. I was free like, 99. Nigga, Shout out to serious? Wallow, man. Shout out to fucking Wallow, man. I ain't gonna lie, I sat there and I learned a lot that day, and you put a, you put a million dollars worth of game in my pocket, and you didn't even put it on the computer. For free. We came to see you. you free 99. You sold out the Met for free 99, and I'm sure you made that bread right back. Bro, big ups to you, man. Big ups to you, for real. And that's another thing too, just just by you doing that. You know, we not big yet, but we gonna be big. But even showing those flowers, giving that back to for what he did on you know, his podcast, that they was the motivation for me. Yeah. Gilly and Wallow, like I knew Gilly as a young boy, not personally, but as far as seeing what he was doing to see him make a platform. Even you, seeing you coming over here when I met you, you just cut my hair. And just seeing you like, yo, this one doing we had a like mind vibe. That's another thing too. We got to associate ourselves with people that's on the same like mine. Yeah. Like if we still sitting over there hanging with the same homie that's trying to make a nickel out of, out of, out of pennies, like, come on, dog, we, you ain't doing nothing. And you still trying to do the same game, and it ain't benefiting nothing. Right, that shit ain't never you working. Mean, it's you still just ain't being working. right in the way. You know what I mean? And not to say that I'm a, I'm, I'm a shit on you. I'm saying that we got to do better to be better. Yeah. I also want to see some more businesses do it the right way. Yeah, there's so many, man. right? There's so many businesses that they come out. They got a great idea, and they do so many like shortcuts, shortcuts with paperwork. And, and all that should eat you, you know, up. In yes, that and, then, and then yeah. in two, three, four years, you turn around and they're gone. Mm -hmm. Like I like to see that, like you know, us do things correctly so that they can't come at us. Yeah, and they um, and we can have longevity in our businesses that we're putting out there. Yeah. For sure. That's something that I see all Big, big facts on that, man. Big facts on that. We, yeah. That, that has I mean. a lot to do with, um, like you said also, um, as we're growing, we should be teaching. We should be passing down. Stop gatekeeping. Right. <laughs> that part. Right. Stop um, people think that, like, you know, when you be at work and you don't want to, you don't want to teach your replacement, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, like we yeah. get Definitely. trapped in that mindset and that mentality. But especially when you see a good person and you know, uh, you know that they have the potential to grow and to take your words of wisdom to, you know, do, don't withhold, don't feel like, you know, they're going to take your job away or take your position away or yeah. but that mean, take your power. You ain't doing your job. If somebody could take your job, you ain't, you, know, you, you ain't, ain't really, doing it to full capacity. You ain't really doing it right. I, I mean, it's a, I ain't going to hold you. I, I agree and I disagree because for a fact, I know I could sit out there and, and bust and grind and you I learned the hard way from a, a, one of my mentors he sat there and said he said you you doing all this but you, you ain't set yourself up to maintain that job right. like you doing it great but you let another person come in because they had some type of paperwork right to make themselves look better and then you just train this boy but you to know here but I got like three four years sometimes we got to go to extra yard to really stand out, especially as a culture, and I'm talking directly to the black folks in America, because we looked at the most. They'll take everything from us, but won't let us be a part of it. Yeah. They want our style, they want, you know, it's, oh, the black man? And then when they feel as though that we too big, they start breaking us right on down, and yeah. we allow it. We open up the door for them when we take the shortcut. Right. When we sit over here doing That's something that we mean. ain't supposed to, when exactly. we know. Exactly. You give them a reason to say something to yeah. you, man. If, if if your stuff was done the way that it needed to be done, they can't come at you that way. Uh -huh. That way. They yeah. got to get more creative. Facts. Yeah, they do. I know from the business aspect, like, I mean, if I could find someone to do the work cheaper, that's just me. But, <laughs> but I'm also going to tell y'all, you know, don't be a gatekeeper. Put that information out there. Let people... Matter of fact, if, if, if your thing is to share information, I mean, you can always be a consultant. That, that always turns out to be a good thing for you because you meet the right people in the right places to make things happen anyway. Just yeah. stop gatekeeping. Now, also, like, you know what I'm saying, um, like the event, the pod kind, like, you know what I mean, what Wallow did, the, the dopest part, I thought, was that, like, you know what I'm saying, when he brought the people on the stage, like, a lot of people got... Like, you know, classes and then they got, you know, certain stuff. So they'll promote, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can do this. You can do that. You can do that. Just get with me. Just get you know what I'm saying? Me. And then they're going to say, yeah, get with me. And they're going to say, make a video saying, oh, yeah, I, I got this, X, Y, Z. But to know the secrets and to know all the good stuff 
hit me in the DM. I'm going to text you a code and you can take the class. Now, the master class is going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Wallow was like, no, tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them, tell them everything. Tell them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because they was giving us like they was bits giving us and pieces. Free game, dog. And like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, no, tell them. Like, tell them straight up. Tell them where to go. Tell them what to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm writing everything down in my notebook. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, he really was like, they I really was giving us phone, everything. I got all them videos and I'm looking at it. He's like, yo, you can go here. You can get you, you go get a business account for LLC here. Exactly. You can get, they'll run your credit report on this uh, credit bureau, da 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 da. Especially when dudes solve my finance, because finance is the big part of yep, everything. That's the major part. He was like, right? finance yourself horizontally, then vertically. And I'm like, explain. He's like, yeah, you got these banks that go to different credit bureaus. They don't hit all three. It's just going to hit one at a time. And I'm like, dog, you telling me I can go to three different banks that go to three different credit bureaus and I can get that amount of money from each one and then just keep stacking on each one? Mm-hmm. That shit made perfect fucking sense. Right, but you see how he trickle down knowledge yeah that's stuff people usually you know keep with them that's the, yeah yeah and also understand the advertisement in this situation because in reality that's that's part of his hustle it is his hustle is for Absolutely. you to come for and you to, keep yeah. keep reaching out because if we don't get people to i with bad what i feel with some of the black folks that i've dealt with is the fact that they'll give you a part of it but not the whole, the whole thing. thing so i gotta now depend on you yeah to keep giving me but sometimes all you pieces. need is that, that that initial kick to just get in the door you got a lot of people just not even opening the door for us and when they right. do is a lot of times man you got to see how many times that you you open up that door for the individual like all right look i'm gonna show you the game and when i show you the game you you shit on me it's like oh now i like i don't want nothing from nobody yeah but if i'm showing you something don't come back and make me now i'm the i'm the little guy you can see a, there's there's people in the world that had good relationships with people, but had to separate themselves because it got toxic. Yeah. Because it became, and uh, we was homies, we was brothers. Like if I opened up a barbershop and we, hey yo, you know I'm, this is faded, but I'm I'm, whatever barbershop, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But don't go over there because I'm better. You know what I mean? That's yeah. not we not we we being toxic now. We ain't trying to really help each other yeah. move up. That's like. I know other barbers in other places, and depending on who I'm talking to, like, you know, I'm always trying to promote the business, but if you're in an area where I know someone who can cut, I'm going to recommend them to you only yeah. because I, I know what you're looking for. You're looking that's for the, quality. Yeah, that's right. the blessings. That's the for real, for real. I mean, you can come check me out if you like to, you know, but if it's too much of a hustle, too mm-hmm. much of a hassle, I definitely tell you there's someone in your area that I know that I stamp because doing what I do, I got to be able to stand behind certain people because these same people that mm-hmm. I'm promoting help me in a way. Right. So, you know, it's the give back. You know, you always got to be able to, it's got to be a two-way street. As, as, as long as you're giving, you got to receive. But as long as you're receiving, you got to give. It's got to be a balance to it. You just can't keep taking, taking, taking and not give. Right. And the flip side of that, um, you know, that coin is for those people that think that they're just going to sit around and wait for somebody to open a door for you. You mm. also got to get out and you hustle. Got, you got to get out and, and do what you got to do. Don't expect no doors to be sitting there open or for people to, you know, pull you up. That's a big thing also. And that's the understanding of also, too, not being um, too comfortable with your surroundings. Yeah. Your, your team and who you deal with, that's, they going to have your back ten toes down no matter what. And even if y'all had y'all falling out, if y'all got a good enough relationship that you take the time to, like I just met you today, but my man said you good, then you good with me. Right. And I'll take the chance because I'm going to give you the respect. If, if you mess that respect up anywhere down the line, then that's, 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 that's just what it is. Right. I know I can't. I let him do what you rather than me do with you, but you still part of the scene. And whatever he go, he's seen in you, that's, we're going to make it work from there. Maybe I can't work directly with you, but he good and he worked good with you. So, all right, so let me still, I'm still part of this team. We all going to benefit. I'm not going to, oh, no, I ain't going to mess with him because right. they, they, they got burgundy on it. I got red. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I'm, I'm not, we're not we going to do that. We ain't playing this. It, is, it, is, it, just, <laughs> it just happened, Josh, for the guy. <laughs> but but that's, that's, people be so petty to go to social media and hate, and, and, and when, especially during this time of day. Man, we got too many killings. We got too many family members that we lose every day. We got too many senseless acts of violence that just don't make no sense. When at the same time, as a culture, we're always discriminated against. We can't do nothing without- Yeah, we beating on each other. We got the world beating on us. It's like, there's no- It it doesn't make no sense. People say, oh, well, you know, the cops be killing us. We kill our people more than the cops. Hmm. Yeah, (laughs) sure do. I mean, sure but we, we going out here and we setting up little little situations where we taking little parades down here at Black Lives Matter. 
let's go to the hood. Be like, yo, my man, we ain't got to go this route. You know what I mean? And I don't like no hustle because I was out there. So me being out there, look, bro, we, we got to be able to come to a, a, an agreement. If, if I got to eat, then we got to eat. So let's work that out together. Maybe this ain't the move for me. Like I said in the beginning, you got the homeboy that's sitting out there 10, 20 years doing the same thing he's been doing since he's a young boy. Yeah. And you ain't make nothing from it. I had a homeboy come here. I'm not even a homeboy. This old dude, he got to be like 60-something, 65, 66. And he sold me a quick jacket because he had bought an extra one on mm-hmm. whatever site he bought it from. Sold to me for 40. I turned around and sold for 50 because I didn't really need it. I'm like, all right, cool. I can make mm-hmm. whatever happen. But I, obviously, you need the bread. Let me alleviate it off your pocket. But talking See. to him, you know, he's talking about the businesses in the area and how none of the businesses in the area support black people or, you know, give back to the, to, to the neighborhood. But in the mindset of being a businessman, I also stop, stop and think, like, what are you doing for yourself? Because you can't expect it to come from these businesses. Like, mm-hmm. this dude was the nickel and dime hustler forever. Mm-hmm. Didn't do nothing with his money. Ended up getting a little apartment. Now he's 65, 66, living in a little social security mm-hmm. job, whatever. So, again, he's hand out looking. But, you know, you had an opportunity. And when you had yours, mm-hmm. you probably wasn't giving back to the community either. Yeah. Well, they say time don't wait for nobody. Yeah. That thing... If you ain't got no life insurance, no 401k situated, you could... My, when my mom passed away, she only lived off of Social Security. They didn't give her nothing. They gave me 250 and said, yeah, <laughs> bury her, her with this. Her with this. Yeah. Like, me and my folks had to bury my mom. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that, that was... It was oh, like... Yeah, but that was, that was still stuff. a life choice. Yeah. You know what I mean? That at the end of the day, I can't go out like that because I don't want my peoples to have to... Cre- force the cremation of that shit. Yeah, that, that's too hard body. Yeah. But I got a question real quick, directly for the females. You think it's easier for females to uh, support the culture or harder? Because I know y'all go through a lot more. Y'all go through a lot more. Um, we, 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 we tend to do well with that. Like, we support one another well. Um, you know, I heard what y'all said about, you know, my cousins, you know, <laughs> business type thing. We usually do well with, hey, yeah, my girl can braid hair. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, she do nails. Mm, yeah. um, we do, as women, we do try, I, I will say that we do, you know, do do a lot of uplifting. Support system and strong. Support, yes. Yeah. Yes. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I know that for, I, I, anybody do anything, it's a, uh, <laughs> Oh, my girlfriend do such That's and such. That's right. I, oh, I got a girlfriend that do that. My girl? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, so? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Right. Hit her up. <laughs> right. Hey, go check her out on the Instagram. She yeah. on it. Yeah. Definitely. As in, um, you know, the difference that I see with uh, males, with y'all. What's that? Y'all what got to get say? stronger in that. Yeah, in that I area. find when, when you're dealing with men, it's a lot of conviction of convincing you have to do. Like, a lot of, a lot of men stand ten toes down on what they believe, and you're not going to change that. But that also, to me, goes into, I feel like, um, I feel like women are nowadays, and I'm talking about, like, you know, not when I was growing up, but nowadays, um, women are all about the bag. Mm -hmm. You know, they're trying to make their money, you know, and and things of that nature. So I think that has a lot to play in it, too, because I feel like as women, when it comes to relationships, that we do not support one another when it comes to relationships. We'll tell each other to go, girl, I ain't putting up with that. <laughs> go to the that. next. Like, yeah. So you see how like that thin line, the mm-hmm. thin line between mm-hmm. love and hate. <laughs> oh, we gonna get this money. Oh, but my man, he You're sure. right, he ain't shit. You can do better all by yourself. Do what I'm right. doing, girl. Nah, so nah, there's nah, like that slight <laughs> where we, you know, where we, when it come to that bag, heck yeah, my girl do... Mm-hmm. But go ahead and let a relationship stuff. We will tell you to self sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> Sad to say, you know, that's where we don't pass down knowledge to me. Um, you know, we should be teaching, you know, these young girls that are in these relationships, especially when they got kids with these men, you know, mm-hmm. how to wait, uh, you know, weather the storm mm-hmm. and things of that nature. Taking relationship advice from single friends. Yeah. Right, right, right. But yeah. y'all men seem to have that part together. Y'all will uh, uplift each other. Y'all will, if you see your boy, you know, 
Hey, what are you doing? Allison at home? Like, y'all. I don't really be having anybody girls? to talk to. We'd be hurt. Like, we. That should be hurting. And we would be talking about it. Like, yeah. like man. That come down to the to the to the ego and the pride, like man, yeah. I ain't gonna look. Y'all, yeah, y'all so. will check each other. Is what I'm saying. Us women, we don't. From my experience, they we won't check each other. We'll sit there and let her go down that path. Be like, mm-hmm, I told her. <laughs> <laughs> As in men, I've seen my male friends be like, yo, like nah, we you can't. Bugging, you tripping, yeah, what yeah, you yeah, tripping? Nah. Like, I, no, I've seen y'all do that. You gotta get Cheryl going. So it'd be mm-hmm. easier to support. The female to the male rather than to another female depending on the situation for the group question i feel like um yeah i feel like it, when men support each other it's, it can be an emotional thing some guys feel like you know it's a, it's a sign of weakness but you know you got those guys who understand situations and know how to navigate you through because they don't want to see you do some dumb shit. you got women who you know because i remember Going to my mom with emotional shit, thinking mm-hmm. like I'm gonna get some good advice because this is a woman. How about how do I treat this woman? Right. Mm-hmm. And she'd give me some ass backwards advice, and I'm like, Are you sure, mom? <laughs> right. Who's, who side is you on? You want, you want her team? You don't even know her. <laughs> no, not even on her team. She so would tell me to do some. She would tell me some self sabotaging <laughs> shit. And I'd be like, That don't even sound like a womanly answer. You know? <laughs> but but I you tried it. it once or twice. I did. And I did. I did. I'm like, All right. Well, you know, if it worked for mom, you know. <laughs> Not realizing she's sitting up single and ain't got my dad around and shit. <laughs> so, that, yeah, yeah. So you, you probably you gotta look at that as, as that's my baby. Yeah, you don't need that chick. Leave her alone. Because I know for a fact from, from my daughter, my daughter come like, yeah, no. Especially if I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> Man. He did what? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Man, he's like, done. Yeah, but it's rocks. not like, you know, he's you're, you're not gonna tell us some shit that, you know, is wrong. Like, my mom would say some shit but it's just wrong. I'm like, all right, mom. You know you've been raising me all these years. I ain't dead yet. You ain't gave me no fucked up advice just yet. No, this is this is it. This is, this is, the, this is the first this one. It's not even the first one. It's, it's just the first you one. You make it noted. Yeah, yeah, you make it noted. That was like, all right, like, no I, more you know, relationship no, questions to mom. Exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Like, my dad, I'll talk to him about that shit, but if it came to, like, hey, dad, I'm trying to start this business, all right, what I'm going to need you to do is come up with all your money and a plan. <laughs> oh, thank you, dad. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> and I think that's that's the, more importantly, for us to work as a community, I think we had talked about it in previous podcasts. Got to look us up, too, on Chopping It Up. We on YouTube, Spotify, Amazon Music. We out here Listen to us. But we had spoken about how it begins at home. Yeah. That foundation at home is how we can start to really work together as a as a community. Because if our home is messed up, you ain't doing that I, out here. We, yeah, we don't go outside, technically we don't know be, how yeah. to, to work as a as a unit because we our home is, you know, up and down. down. You know what I mean? It starts right there. Build up that foundation. Set that order. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But meanwhile while we out here, let's 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 do better for each other because you know, we outside more than we in the house. That's for damn sure. Man, speaking about support, man, what you got going on with this Garden State goal? Let's let's get some more of that out. <laughs> right now, I, I'm, I'm I'm taking it to a, a wayside. Cause I'm, I'm really trying to get the barbershop. I know Gilly was talking about that on the, on, on on the podcast. Like people that do too much, I do too much. So I'm trying to get one thing going at a time. And I know once I get this going. That's nothing. I've got the ideas on hold. It's more so getting this to move, but I can get that Prioritizing. Moving. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get this right here, the, the the podcast and the shop, more so the shop. I need this shop to do better. It's going to do better. You know, I'm not saying I'm doing bad. I'm, I'm, I'm still working as an entrepreneur to figure out how to, you know, do one thing at a time, I guess. And mm-hmm. I'm going to take my, my seat back and I'm going to do the podcast every, every time we get the chance to. I'm going I'm to promote da 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 but I want my, my blades, I want my skills to sharpen up. I want people to come in here and start spending their money on the, on the quality work that I put out. Thanks. And when they come in and see the quality work I put out, you'll understand why I got this podcast, why I got the clothing line. How can, they, how can they hit you up? Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, you can always <laughs> book an appointment with me, man. Uh, yeah, I'm, selling, I'm selling my man because he's sharp. I am sharp, man. He's I sharp. Ain't I ain't like too long on horn, but I am. I'm dope. Uh, FAD3D.org. You can always book an appointment with me, Gucci, or you know I got another barber named Nafis Ali. We've got stylists in here that you know twist up, braid up. We do everything inside of here. Um, if you want to follow the uh, Instagram page, F underscore A underscore D underscore three underscore D. That's uh, faded the long way. Faded. 
It's faded the long way. Uh, if you just want to follow me and just see my work, I mean, I'm the, at the Lofty Groom on Instagram, so, you know, there's multiple ways to get in contact with, with me. If you want to follow my uh, clothing line on, 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 online, uh, we got at Garden State Gold. I mean, ain't too much. It's, it's more just so me looking good in my clothes right now, but, you know, they still look good. They're still available for sale. Website coming soon. Which one? Can I get a camera? When y'all go on to Instagram and y'all go to the Lofty Groomer, I want y'all to like that picture of me getting my hair cut by Gucci. All right, just because. <laughs> if you look at if you look at other uh, podcasts, <laughs> if you look at other podcasts, you understand where I'm going with it. But check that out. Hit a like on it, hit and then like hit that DM. Yeah. The boy's sharp over here. You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to. But then again, you know, going through my process of trying to find out how to be great, I'm learning that I got to actually start with one thing. So I got the, the shop and then the podcast. And I can't say no to the podcast. I, I love to talk to the people. And I got a shop to do it in. So, you know, it's it's going to be those two things first, Paramount, and then, you know, it's clothing line. It's coming. It's still here. It's, it's always here. It's just... It's, it's going to hit the wayside for a second. We've got seasons getting ready to change up and too much thinking i got to do on it. And I'm just like, look, let me just, let me attract the people first. Why well, don't have your, um... My clothes on right now? Yeah. I, I, I was trying to... Every, I was, po- every podcast, I think you should, like, have something on. Something I typically do. I just decided for the past couple of me to try to be fly, fly. That's what Danny say. That's what the first lady always say. She always says she will. Every, every time. She do. Every time. Every time. Well, every time we record something. Yeah, yeah to wear yeah. one of my one of my signature pieces. Yeah, I, mean, I would. I normally try to, but then I, I've, I've I've been trying to look more professional on the, the podcast. You know, I, I I try to come through with the slacks and the boots, and because I'm always making fun of sincere how he looked, and I'm like, you know, that was one episode. You like that. <laughs> Maybe every episode. This is the one that y'all might know because he got mad, so I can't talk about him no more because I don't want to use the trigger word. He was mad, though. <laughs> he was really mad. Man, where? DJ Nah, what you got going on, man? How can we support you and where can we support you at? Um, First of all, uh, you could book me for your next birthday party, barbecue, bar mitzvah, baby shower, repass, like anything music, entertainment related. Like if you're an artist and you need your mixtape hosted, Call me, book me. Um, I host stuff. You know what I mean? I got a podcast um, platform on Instagram. Go subscribe, ring the little notification bell so I can know that you know that we know what's going on. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Support Faded. Come get your hair cut. You know what I mean? Hopefully, after this joint, I get a shape up or something. We're going to talk about that on the flip side. <laughs> but, um, like, yeah, just, you know, follow me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, like this stuff. Subscribe. Tune in. Like, that's how you can support me. Just, like, stay up on the activities and stuff that, you know, that, that we got going on. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, you know, likewise, like, I support other people. So it's just, like, network. That's what I'm big on. I'm Absolutely. big on networking. We like, you know what I'm saying? you here, too. Because, you know, like, you know, networking could get you places and get you, you know what I'm saying? It's stuff that money can't even can't buy. Can't buy, yeah. You know Unlock I mean? a lot of doors for you, that's for sure. Because he's my cousins now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come that's in, right. Come, come chill out, you know what I'm saying, on Mondays. That's family bar. Even when we're not chopping it up in front of this camera, we've we been here chopping it up yeah. all day long. That's yeah. what we do. <laughs> the tigers definitely be real. Um, you said earlier you act. Yeah, you on Tubi, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm on Tubi. Shout out to my man Gutter Films. Uh, like, I, I actually did a couple of um, like movies. I just did a movie with um, Boom from Philly. It's called Y'all Drawing. They got all the comedians in it. And that shit should be coming out soon. It's called Y'all Drawing. Oh, man. Mm. See, what networking do? Yeah. Now I'm about to get all the information. Yeah. They all going to be up here, For too. sure. And I'm, listen, I'm bringing everybody up here. As soon as we yeah. go on a, the tour with the with the movie, yeah. I'm, I mean, we're going to run all the I mean, podcasts right up. up. Hell yeah. yeah. Look, that's, uh, that's whatever y'all see on my page, whatever. Whoa, what's up with him? What's up with him? Listen, I line it up. Like, you know what I mean? You ain't even got to contact him. I hit him. Yo, my folks, this and that. Ah, ah, ah. Throw yeah. the oop like and that's and that's what there we that's go. what we try and do. Even though we are in right Jersey, there, you see yeah. us, I mean, that reach that reach go crazy. We talking Jersey right now. We got South Philly, North Philly. You got what you Bronx, you me? New York. I'm from I'm Brooklyn originally. Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying. But <laughs> yeah. that's but that's how you again. That's how you network. Yeah. Because you never know where somebody from or where they gonna be at. Yeah. That my man do a, a whole movie tour now. That's a whole ayo. Hey, oh well, damn. Where we can get it. Well, we're doing a tour over here, so we can go ahead, shoot past this, and whoever he know, just in case he ain't in the area, like, that's how you communicate with somebody, not trying to take what they, right. but yeah, just to offer to, to right. give, because it's, it's better to give 
them receive majority of the time. But we live in a time where trying to get that everybody money. Trying to get money. You know what I mean? It, and and, and it, sometimes it. it's not like that. Like you said earlier, everything, you can't buy everything. Yeah. The money going to come. You just got to, like, work. You got to keep working. You got to put the work in. Like, if you just focused on the money, like, you know, you go get a job. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. right. Cause this this shit that you that we chasing, you know what I mean, everybody got a common goal and like whatever we chasing, you gotta get there mm-hmm. so that you, you know what I mean, and then that shit gonna make that shit gonna make the money. Uh, I heard I was on Instagram earlier, and I seen a job post that said your salary is is uh the price that your employer pays you to stop chasing your dream. Yeah, and that shit. I was thinking that about that shit, that shit. Crazy. That shit hit. Yeah. That I shit like, hit. Believe me. Let me get that one more time. He said. He said the salary that they pay you at your job is the price that your employer pays you to you stop chasing your, your dreams. dreams. That hit hard. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit can make a million dollars if we keep going. He said, stop mm-hmm. doing what you're doing. But if you're here and make yeah. my money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you like, yeah, just I'll come pay here. You this just much come here. Week. Look, I got this for you, huh? Okay. Okay. Take this. Don't yeah. worry so about you can stop Don't worry about that podcast doing shit. Don't worry about me my money. Don't worry about cutting hair. Just come work here every day, and then I mean, once you and get we, and we're yeah. in that country where you know greed take all. So it's yeah. like, man, look, I got a dream and a half, dog. I, I cut hair. I've been cutting hair for twenty five years now. But when I was doing this for free in my backyard, that's how I got nice. And then mm-hmm. I got, I met people that started getting paid for it. I started to get paid for it, and now mm-hmm. that I'm getting paid for it, I mean, don't get me wrong, I cut hair, but I'm really trying to put other barbers on. That's why I got a whole shop. I could have did this by myself. I didn't need. 14 other fucking stations. I could have just mm-hmm. been one barber in here taking all the fucking money. I'm with, mm-hmm. Matter of fact, if you're a barber looking for a job, you know, hit me up. F underscore A underscore D underscore three underscore Talk to D. Him, man. You uh, talking about networking you know, for with sure. Your, it's, it's, yeah. not, it's not about just me making a dollar. It's about me providing opportunities because opportunities come right back. So absolutely for everyone who needs an opportunity, I got a few for you. I want to learn how to cut hair. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you some clippers. I'm just man, want to learn too. I ain't got no problem teaching you what I know because at the end of the day, I'm gonna learn. As soon as I learn, I'm a master. As soon as I master, I'm gonna hand it on down. Like, look, I did it. I got it. Let's move it. Right. The facts are more important. What you said earlier, Gucci, is also having that patience and prioritizing. Like, clearly, that was one of the main things that stuck out during that Wallow Gilly thing. Is prioritizing. We sit over there and we put everything on the plate and expect to eat it. You can't. You got too much on your plate. It's just falling over. It's falling yeah. over. Yeah. And I probably want to get to that side of the plate. So it's I'm, like being at a buffet. You like uh, I'm mm-hmm. gonna go get another plate. I'm yeah. gonna get something else. I'm gonna trying to take it. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna eat this later. Then it go bad because you put too much on the plate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as a culture, we be sitting over here trying to do everything. And all we gotta do is one thing: work together. Work together, yeah. Supplication, application. You need a mic drill. <laughs> <laughs> My man said, Uncle Drew over here, he said, supplication and application. Wisdom, get the wisdom, and you have to apply the wisdom. So there's three things you do. You pass, somebody gets the wisdom, they pass it down to you, you apply it, and then you pass it to yeah. somebody else. That's what we need to do. Yeah. Look, I'm here to share all my knowledge with y'all. I'm here to share all my knowledge with y'all. I just need y'all to share it with me because there are things I don't know that I do want to know. Also, too, got to give our shouts out to the, the, the event and also to, if y'all don't already know, a million dollars worth of game. Oh, follow That's, the podcast too. What do you say? Me, 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 me. <laughs> Yo, he, he be killing me. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> But it, um, it's because of brothers like that that's willing to share, like he said, and pass it on is why we here. Um, because there was someone that gave us that gem and said, oh, do it like this. Or if it don't, here, here, go, here go the game, try it, see how it works. Don't take the shortcuts. This is what's going to be your success. Yes. Take the time, prioritize, and be patient. Don't nobody become a millionaire okay. overnight. Thanks. It might look like it, but mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's like long hours and days of I mean, people putting up shots, Sacrifice, people putting up bro. work, shit that don't work. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Believe me, sacrificing every day. But um, yeah, everybody's get out here and network to do this damn thing, bro. It's funny too that you said that as far as the the, the job because <laughs> I know for a fact I'll put in 40, 50, 60 hours. And my check gonna look nothing. 
like 40, like 50, 60 I, hours, yeah, right? It, it, like, this just, is what you think they, is worth they the they shit. They take more. <laughs> they yeah, they take text. more tax. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. You think you doing good? Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> Let me knock that's that out. That's twenty. That's twenty hours extra. That went to the extra taxes because you know you get taxed on your regular check. Then you like, all right, income tax time. I'm gonna make the money back. Then they tax that again. They, they tax, tax that, that again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like golly, but this is the world we live in, and we gotta abide by the law, and not be on that. You know, Wesley Snipes running. <laughs> 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 that's my man's, but still, you know, do your taxes. All right. That's some funny stuff. But like you were saying, like you said, you look, remember saying working 40, 50 hours, right? Some people work 40, 50, 80 hours, you know what I'm saying, a week, two weeks, or whatever, then turn around and go home and don't put no hours into their craft or their dream exactly. or nothing. Like, you just go home and play the game, watch Netflix, smoke, sleep. go to sleep. Ooh, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you want to sleep more than you want to, like, get to the, get to, the to the moon. You know what I'm saying? We trying to go to the moon. And right. still, having those, still having those dreams, like, man, one day. Yeah. One day, if you one don't day. take the step, you better make one day, two day. But still yeah. having a discipline to like to, to get off of work, you're like all right, I'm tired. Like you know what I'm saying, like you know what I mean, like all right, now I gotta go do this, and now I'm about to go. You know what I mean? Because you gotta make it happen. It ain't gonna happen it by, itself. by itself. Yeah. And you condition yourself. I could say one thing about me. Like I, I am also one of those people. I'll be trying to do way too much, too soon. But once I get a plan, like I'm gonna do this little, you know, long care thing for this summer, just as. Just to do it, just to bring in the extra income. But I'm gonna work for myself. Again, I'm spending all this money, and well, I'm working all these hours. I'm not making the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? This way now that when I invest in myself, I can feel good about something. It's mine. Yeah. Every time we sit over as a culture, when we have something that's ours, man, you can't take that from us. That's it. Yeah. That's right. We ain't sitting over here waiting on what? What was that? Four. An acre and a mule. I don't say. <laughs> Forty yeah. acres and a mule. for y'all to go give me nothing. Definitely if don't I, wait for that. <laughs> I mean, if I got the means to go ahead and get it myself, I'm gonna go ahead and get it myself. And I'm not going to shortcut as, and say, "Oh, forget the people that help you," because those people definitely need those gems. They and they definitely need that respect because you can't do nothing all the time by yourself. You just gotta have the means to go ahead and do it. You know what I mean, take that first step. Don't sit back. Looking like, oh man, one day, one day, Gucci Gu- yeah. gonna come around and be like, come on, man. <laughs> Danny gonna be like, come on, Sean, you ready? We gonna go? No, no. Right. These now, y'all just dropped the album. Come on, Sean, spit. I don't know how, man. Listen, I wrote it down for you already. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, all I said was come to the studio. Right, because them yeah. reparation checks still ain't come yet. They ain't come waiting, yet. Yeah, yeah. been waiting forever. Keep, keep, keep for looking. Them. Right, but that's what, like what you said. You said uh, to keep the people around you keeping you going you know mm-hmm. you can't still stand still in a moving current that current will move you mm-hmm. yeah and if you keep people around you that's moving and doing like-minded mm-hmm. things yeah mm-hmm. you're going you're going to sway with Raise that current up. yeah most definitely well look that's about the end of our show today we appreciate y'all stopping up anybody got something coming up this week they want to you know promote push out there um oh, yeah. wednesday this wednesday coming up uh i host um, an event, well, actually DJ event, um, every fourth Wednesday of the month where if you rap and you can make a song that's not celebrating gun violence and like cursing, you can win up to a thousand dollars. Let me say it again. You can get paid to rap. Like if you yeah. rap, you can win up to a thousand dollars if you can make a song that's not celebrating gun violence and is don't have no profanity in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every fourth Wednesday of the month is called How Dope Are You? You can check it out on my page. You know what I'm saying? And Go ahead, put your page up, man. Uh, yeah. DJ dot on the Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Man, I love that word, man. I'm about to be Will Smith for after. I was done. about to say Listen. that. That's oh, hard. yeah, because she read. It is hard. Red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> when did you say? You said you got bars. You got bars. bars. All right, Danny yeah. ain't got bars. <laughs> Look, you be perfect for that joint. You can't say that. that. Danny, you can go ahead. <laughs> Going it's you. free. You can tr- listen. I, you I you I take, just, take, take a chance. Yeah. yeah, look, you might win. <laughs> you know that, it, this big. She like, yo, <laughs> I'm on that. Yeah, <laughs> easy money. Uh, I, I want to say I appreciate the whole group, the whole family right here. Because one thing, as far as supporting my my peoples, I appreciate y'all for everything that y'all do. When we come up here on the show, 
Um, no matter he's what. saying that, y'all. No, he's right. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uncle Drew, he always in the back, always got some wisdom, as y'all heard. If y'all not, we're going to make sure he has a mic. He needs a mic. Time. He does. Yeah, <laughs> mic he, likes, he likes to, on certain episodes, Even he likes to Even when there's an extra mic, he needs a mic. He don't want to put the mic on. I mean, but uh, most definitely uh, support each other, man. It ain't just about trying to look good, man. It's about looking good together as a whole, not the individual. Not the individuality. Did I say that word? Yeah. 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 I, I got yeah. the word? Okay. Oh, look at you doing anything. <laughs> all right. <laughs> man, look, <laughs> I want to tell you my book shit. is open all week. FAD3D.org. Book you an appointment. I know you any cuts. Valentine's Day is coming up. Y'all playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, all right, we out of here for the day, guys. With love, peace, respect, and until next time. Deuce. Ha, if you want the truth, Gucci gon' give it to you. Yeah. If you want the truth, Danny gonna give it to you. Yeah. If you want the truth, sincere gon' give it to give you. It to gon' you. give it to you. Ha. If you want the truth, Gucci gon' give it to give you. It to yeah. you. If you want the truth, Danny gon' give it to give you. It to if you want the truth, sincere gon' give it to you. Cause we're chopping it up.